Okay, hello everyone. Let's get started. So in today's video, uh, we'll talk about very important topic. So how do we choose a language we would like to learn? So what we should consider and so on. Uh, uh, yeah, so uh, first of all, it's nice to meet you face to face finally. Uh, so my name is Dmitry. I'm a Java programmer with five plus years of experience. And on my YouTube channel, I will share some uh, thoughts and experience related to programming in general and also about Java and its applications to big data topics in particular. Yeah, so if you would like to know more, just don't forget to subscribe yeah, so you don't miss any uh, videos. Yeah? Okay, so about uh, today's topic. So. How do you choose a programming language you would like to learn? Uh, so, because I can see around a lot of uh, such questions on Facebook and so on, asking, I'm a beginner, I want to learn uh, some programming stuff, so what should I start with? What is the best language to learn? Uh, um, so, first of all, uh, if we look around the internet we will find a lot of articles blogs uh, videos where we have a lot of suggestions uh, based on language popularity so uh, there are a lot of tops of most popular languages for example based on amount of repositories on github for the particular language or uh, how the language is popular on stack overflow so how many questions related to this particular language we have there uh, so based on uh, these metrics we have some tops uh, and so the most natural is just to pick the uh, top language so the most popular one uh, uh, so that's what uh, most people suggest to do yeah? but um, uh, what also you should consider yeah, and in most cases it's not said at all yeah? uh, so first of all if you choose a language based on that top let's say you choose JavaScript okay that's totally fine but uh, what you should keep in mind is that uh, JavaScript as any other language um, has its own applications yeah? so the fields where this JavaScript is used. Yeah? So, for example, you have chosen JavaScript to learn. So that means that you will heavily work in uh, backend and uh, frontend part related to web development. Yeah, that's that's quite good. Yeah, but what you should also consider that, uh, for example, if you would like to do some machine learning stuff or AI um, using JavaScript, you will not be able to do that. Uh, of course, you can do whatever you want uh, with JavaScript, but uh, uh, any developer uh, who works with uh, ML and AI will say that Python has godlike libraries for that. So the most natural choice, if you would like to do machine learning or artificial intelligence stuff, is Python. Uh, so if you will try to do that on JavaScript, well, maybe you will succeed. Yeah? But uh, JavaScript is not um, what is meant to be used for that. Yeah? So that's why both JavaScript professionals and Python uh, developers uh, will think you are insane. Yeah? Because you are using a language for a stuff for which is, it is not supposed to be used. Right? So... Uh, the first thing you should consider, so when you choose a language, <coughs> in which areas this uh, particular language is used and whether you like this area, so if you would like to work in it or not. Yeah? So that's the most important stuff. Yeah? So for example, if you choose JavaScript, but you will, don't want to do any web development, so most probably JavaScript is not your base choice. Yeah, so then you should uh, look for the second top language, uh, let's say it's uh, Java, yeah, and see what are the applications for Java and whether you like them or not. Yeah, and so you iterate over that uh, top languages list 
uh, until you uh, find the language uh, in which uh, fields or applications you would like to work or you are uh, in the bottom of this list and still you don't find anything you would like to do so that maybe means that programming is not for you yeah? well, I'm just kidding uh, so another thing so you can start from the opposite side and first select an area in which you would like to work and only then uh, select a suitable language yeah? so for example you would like to uh, develop uh, 3D shooters yeah? so using for example Unreal Engine yeah? so in that case C++ is your natural choice or you would like to write uh, high performance applications which will deal with a huge amount of data so transform it somehow and so on yeah so in that case you should uh, choose scala for example yeah so uh, the best language ever frankly speaking okay so uh, that the second option you can try yeah so first select a field in which you would like to work and only then select a suitable language Okay, uh, so another problem you could face is that uh, maybe there are multiple languages which could be used in this particular area. Yeah? So, for example, uh, let's take uh, Android development. Yeah? So you would like to <coughs> create applications for Android. And as you know, uh, there are two languages uh, which allow you to do that, uh, Java and Kotlin. Yeah? So the question is which you should focus on. Uh, so uh, there are multiple points uh, you need to consider while making your um, decision uh, so the first one is um, if you look at industry so uh, which language is most suggested uh, by uh, by the largest players on this market so if we talk about Android, so which language, for example, is suggested by Google? Yeah. Uh, so if the biggest players suggest to use language A, uh, then you should uh, still have uh, very strong reasons behind why still you would prefer language B over language A. Right. Uh, the second thing you should uh, consider is how popular each language is in this particular area yeah? so because you are a beginner uh, you will have a lot of questions a lot of problems you will face and you will need a strong community to be able uh, to resolve all these issues yeah? so the more popular the language is the better for you as a beginner right? uh, the third thing is uh, how popular the language will be in the future okay so maybe now it's quite popular but what uh, will happen to it in five years for example and the third point uh, strongly correlates with the first one yeah so uh, if the biggest players on the market suggests to use language a most probably in five years uh, you will have some problems with language b if you still choose it so uh, think about that and the last thing you should consider and probably the most important one uh, so if you have multiple languages to choose from just try each of them uh, to make your hands dirty just try to cool find some manuals do some sample projects to see to get uh, yourself familiar with syntax how that actually works so how you compile the program how you launch it and so on uh, so maybe at this most probably at this uh, stage uh, you will make your choice uh, so which language is most suitable for you which language is most convenient to be used by you uh, okay uh, so basically that would be all for today so hopefully that video was useful for you and there are some things you will take away so you will uh, consider while choosing a language to learn uh, so don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel if uh, you would like to watch uh, more videos like that 
if you uh, would like to watch some uh, Java tutorials for beginners, some big data tutorials for beginners. So everything will be available on my YouTube channel. So please subscribe yeah, if you like it. Also, if uh, you have some comments or questions, just uh, post behind the video. Okay. Uh, yeah, but that's all for today. Thanks to all for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.